All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, I get this question quite a lot, and uh, this time the opportunity presented itself to record a basic process that uh, many people would like to learn, and that is basic weathering techniques, especially battle damage. So, uh, this is going to be really entry-level stuff, things that you can do on your own, things that don't require a huge investment. What do I suggest you get? Well, um, my basic tools of the trade for the entry-level stuff involve uh, metal paint chipping. And for that, I use, focus on this thing, camera, yeah. Uh, after a lot of trial and error, I'm a big fan of Vallejo paints in general, but their new acrylic metal color is absolutely brilliant. For those guys doing airbrushing, this is the easiest stuff to use with great, very impressive uh, effects is my experience. Um, so that, then I buy these ultra fine, uh, I think they're dental stick or dentist tool type things. Um, they are the uh, MA102 Ultra Fine uh, Dental uh, Brush or Stick. Just search it on, uh, for it on eBay. It's very cheap. And this is by far the coolest and most tiny brush that you can find, that I could find anyway. So, yeah, it won't, it won't focus, but you'll have to take my word for that. So, that. Then I use some basic, what are these, cocktail, what, whatever, uh, we call them cocktail sticks over in the Netherlands, but we're kind of weird that way, so I think you know what it, what it is. Um, why do I use this? This is to um, modify and sculpt the metal paint chipping after it's applied because the paint doesn't dry immediately. Another thing to get are Q-tips. Um, I like to use the Vallejo airbrush thinner to clean up if I need to. Uh, use this on a Q-tip as well. Um, and then another great tool to buy for basic weathering are these Tamiya weathering powders. They have them. This is a this is a vital one to get, I think, the one with the 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 light sand and um, uh, mud and all that. I'll show you how to use that. Soot and snow and rust. Mwah. Okay. This is the um, the gunmetal uh, and titanium uh, look. And this is an old one with burnt red. They don't sell this anymore. But uh, that stuff is uh, also very easy to use. You can use your fingers, so that's pretty cool too. All right, so um, let's get started. I uh, get my paint and I like just putting a drop on a piece of uh, whatever, plastic. Just a couple of drops. That's the beauty of this Vallejo stuff. You can just use uh, very small amounts. Let's see if I can't show that. Oh, that's not going to be easy. So you'll have to take my word for that too. Now, easy does it. Take your time. Small steps, small drops. That is the, that is the key really. So um, let me reposition the camera for you. All right. So here's my little bit of... Uh, Vallejo metal color that I dropped on. Here's my dental stick brush unit. Now, this is the battle damaged chest plate. Focus. Yeah. This is the battle damaged uh, chest plate that came with the QS006 quarter skill Mark 45. I did a review on yesterday. Now, especially around, I don't know if it shows up, yeah, especially this type 
of battle damage is what I was referring to as yeah especially in 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 person it looks just printed on and not very realistic however we can use this because this is a dark kind of gray the metal paint I have is a light kind of gray so then you can get a two-tone type of paint chipping so let's just take our brush dip it in and immediately scrape off most because it's really about subtle subtle sort of things and bring it up to the corner here now I've applied a little bit and this is where we take the dental stick and start scraping it to get the scraping effect you see there's another trick I use and I'll show you on the other corner like that well actually that looks kinda cool already so do that here and then I get a, a thick brush with a heavy um, with thick hairs and I just go and then that shows the same type of um, scraping effect now you can also get it on the stick take out most of it off use this around edges for any part that has been opened up like this like that and then go so do the same here a little bit goes a long way this type of real high quality metal paint on plastic is the easiest way for people to just suggest that this is metal not plastic usually when I'm done and I show them to anyone they're very surprised when they pick it up and they feel plastic instead of metal so that's great see how I try to keep a little bit of the printed on battle damage another way to use this paint chipping is to accent some of the lines on um, on your model or in this case your figure um, so I'm digging these what are these slots channels whatever so just by using some subtle accents around the edges you will notice this much better when it's on the model can you see so my experience is that now you see I screwed up so stay calm Get your airbrush thinner, put a little bit on the Q-tip, and it just wipes off like that. See? So, try to remain cool and calm. I know these are expensive figures. I know somewhere out there, there's a collector looking at this, just wetting himself, getting his mint inbox figure and holding it and crying for dear life okay I'm sorry <laughs> that was uncalled for um, yeah so that'll show you a little bit of what I mean so I'm gonna continue doing this off camera to no I don't want to bore you and then um, let's go on to the second technique I want to turn your focus your attention to this area I hope you uh, you notice now how um, 
metallic and shiny this hole appears. And I'm pretty happy with the first steps. Um, however, these to me still look too much like blobs. Again, this is where our dental stick comes in. Because you can still shape them after the fact to get that scraping effect. Let's see if you, know, you can tell. Do the same thing here. So this is actually a bit easier once the paint is dry. All right, so uh, another thing, if you wanna go beyond the basics, um, is to get the premium black as well. Um, again, Valatio, because mm. contrast is the name of the game when you want the details to pop. So, two drops of the black, and this time I'm going to be using the dental stick. There you go, in frame. Uh, just touching it at the edge of the drop, so there's very little on the stick and go into these crevices here. So they pop more, especially when viewing from a distance. Like I said, just a touch on the point of the stick, like that. It's also nice to do the sides of the holes. So instead of red, you're looking at the scorched black sides that will give the metal collar some more pop. Another thing I like about using black is if you can frame the silver with it, again, you get more definition. So, Again, with the dental stick, take off most of it and just add some little black to the scratches as well. Is that showing up at all? See how it's now framed and look even cooler? So now you got three things going on. You got the black and the dark printed on gray from the original. And you've got my silver. Now here's a big squab of black. Get the hard brush. Go like this. See? Beautiful. Get our dental stick again into the silver. Like that. It's a little thick, so just like that. Oh. Starting to Start to look like something. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the black in here as well. Also nice to do a little bit here, here and there. Especially around the edges again to make that pop a little bit more. And as you can see, even on camera, you can see much more of an actual metal effect already. All right, so I've gotten a second of the dental sticks into the black and really do the larger surface areas like the entire edge of these holes in the chest. Again, as many colors and effects as you can to create a realistic look and all these little steps take you further and further away from well, the actual plastic that this thing is. I mean uh, look at how it came out of the mold and look at this. Most impressive paint job by uh, Hot Toys mostly, mostly but uh, yeah we're, our, we're adding our two cents. If you look at uh, this area here, 
with the black on the inside and the metal rim. I'm liking the effect already. Also going to be doing a little bit of black here just to set it off. It's all a matter of taste and subtlety. Use your finger to dab it back. It's just sometimes it's two steps forward, one step back. But most everything is fixable actually from sort of kind of mistakes I made in the past. I came up with a, a lot of things and cool techniques that I still use to this day. So really, I always say if I can do it, you can do it. So um, just don't be afraid. You know, I know it's uh, it's a six hundred dollar figure. Forget about the price tag. If you do it right, it's going to be so much nicer. And if you do it really well, it actually adds to the value because I never sell my figures at a loss. But mostly, I can really enjoy a figure so much more if I put my own little spin on it. Sometimes it's subtle, sometimes it's not so subtle, if you remember my Mark 43. All right, so off camera, I finished the chest plate for at least what I regard as step one, which is the paint chipping, um, paint chipping, and the little like powder burn you do with the black paint. But the actual real powder burn will be done a little bit with the weathering powder. But uh, I am planning a step three as well, uh, which will show me doing a little bit of airbrushing and. Um, well, you guys are free to go and follow me as far as you dare to go with your figure, if at all. So, um, before I leave you, I'm going to show you uh, the before and after uh, in a still, so that you can um, you can see what even the first step did, and uh, imagine what would happen if I did that only that step one to the entire figure. The different difference would be quite uh, noticeable. Um, also. I'm going to show you the screen cap, a few of the screen caps I'll be using, and compare that to the actual figure to show you what needs work in my book, in my opinion. So, thanks for watching so far, and I will catch you in step two, I hope. Please support me by uh, liking this video and um, looking at the links in the, sub uh, in the description to see uh, and order your figures through there. Thank you. Bye.